Hey, I'm Andy Seltzer. And I'm Victoria Zaro. And this is BMI's. No, then no. <laughs> you want to do it together or do the word <laughs> thing? I am a producer and a songwriter based in Los Angeles, California. So I'm a songwriter and I also release music under the name Ryan, which is my middle name with the extra N. Um, and yeah. That is what I do. Yeah. <laughs> so I got into music when I was like 13 years old. I started writing in my bedroom and I was going to a Passover dinner with my family and my mom knew someone from BMI was going to be there and she made me bring my guitar <laughs> and play her a song. Um, I hated it at the time, but I'm really grateful I did because she told me to come to the office and um, you know, they, BMI has been a huge part of my career ever since. They were put me in sessions and in workshops and um, still introduced me to so many people I love working with. So that is how I got into music. So the way that I got started in the industry was I had just moved to New York and um, I had an internship up at a publishing company and it wasn't related to production or songwriting but it was on the same floor that there were some like in-house uh, studios there and producers doing sessions every day and I had made it known early on that I played some instruments that the producers had uh, graciously like invited me into some of their sessions and had me play guitar and I just started doing that so much that I ended up getting kind of their busy work and their go sessions and stuff um, so I had started doing a few sessions on my own, but um, I was standing next to a BMI rep at a show uh, one fateful evening, and I had just heard of his name before, and so I kind of just pitched myself at a show, and he just was the coolest and uh, invited me up to the office for a meeting, and um, the BMI team ended up sitting with me for like three hours and just listened to all my first demos ever and they really opened up their community to me. And I would say after that moment, I was doing sessions like almost every day in the city. And that's pretty much how I got my start. So the way that you and I met was via a BMI songwriting camp yes. um, in the summer of 2017. Correct, and at the Sour Patch Kids house. Yes, at the Sour Patch Kids house in Brooklyn. Yep. And, um, you flew in from LA, right? Yes. And exactly. I was living like down the street. Um, and it was a, the town, the townhouse was just filled with Sour Patch Kids and candy and it was just fully Sour Patch Yeah, I was like themed. hunting through the jars for the watermelon yeah. Sour Patch. But yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they did. It was just the original, right? Yeah, yeah. it was just the original. And then the BMI team was with us the whole week and it was kind of just like family camp yeah. style for an artist. We wrote for one artist all week yes. and every room was kind of, every day a different room we would kind of like alternate mm -hmm. and then I feel like, yeah, we, we just met and I feel like... We were just fast friends. Yeah, I remember like right staying up one night singing yeah. Joni Mitchell song. Oh yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Like case of you or something. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But, we um, bonded over Joni Mitchell. Yep. And then I remember like we were writing for this artist and I just remember just being so blown away by your songwriting and everything. And I was just like, why isn't Victoria like also an artist <laughs> and a songwriter? And so I kind of like, like just knew that, I don't know, we were just gonna be writing just a lot of songs together. And then after that moment, I feel like you made a few trips back home and we always made sure like we did like a session together totally. and then when i moved to la like we just started working on like your artist project and then yeah. just so many sessions for other artists so. our, i feel like our like styles and like the music we like were like so similar and yeah we realized totally. that really quickly and like immediately when i was like i think i'm gonna do an artist project i was like i gotta call andy yeah. i hope he wants to do yeah. it yeah which yeah. was such an honor <laughs> i remember like, doing like songwriting sessions for other artists just always in the back of my head just like what if Victoria did her own stuff oh. and so that was just like an awesome moment when that happened but yeah that's the story that's the story that's how it happened the way my creative process generally works as a producer is I first generally I 
don't get into the music making quite yet. Um, I really want to know an artist's story and um, kind of what their vision is for their project and like what their goals are as an artist and also just a bit about where they came from and like just why they love music and um, I feel like there's a bit of like a hang and a powwow and kind of just like a getting to know each other period um, because I just think that's important as two people that are just like choosing to collaborate together in a room rather than just like working alone. Um, it's just kind of a, its own thing and also I'm like entering their space which I want to be respectful of and cr eventually create like a sanctuary that they can just uh, be their best most honest selves in and um, so I feel just kind of like talking through just like the stuff we're gonna get into is, is uh, important first and then um, from there I typically just um, I want to hear songs and I want to hear kind of like stories and like concepts and ideas and like what what stories as an artist they want to be telling and that starts to dictate uh, even instruments I'm going to start using and the way that my productions start sounding and stuff and I really start to form everything just around the song and the story itself because um, um, I just feel like it's the way I can best suit the song so I kind of like take a bit more of maybe like a philosophical kind of building around the song approach to like how technical producing uh, can get um, which I get into later and it's all also kind of going on at the same time um, but I try to just make sure that everything I'm doing in the day is amplifying the song itself and making the artist's expression the most authentic and truthful to them and so that's how I pretty much approach every producing every song that I do. I think my creative process um, always starts off from a place of um, like brutal honesty with like my own experiences and that's always really effortless with my own project where I can just sit down and basically do a journal entry um, or you know something along the lines of a journal entry. Um, when I'm with a, an artist I feel like I try and um, kind of just listen to their story, kind of like what Andy was saying, like create a space where they feel comfortable and want to open up and um, try and use Mike's, like the emotion of my experience to help them write their story honestly, I guess. So I guess the way I try and make artists feel more comfortable is by just being really vulnerable with my own experiences and kind of like helping them find the space that they feel comfortable sharing their experience. It took me a really long time to get comfortable with the idea that I can just like write things that really speak to me and like inspire mm -hmm. me versus like trying to write something that I think would speak to someone mm -hmm. else. And mm -hmm. I think um, that all I would say is just um, like find that thing that like mm -hmm. really inspires you and run with it because mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I think those are those are always the most honest and yeah because you yeah it's kind of like a lot of like don't just d go with your yeah like gut and your what you love totally. even though it sounds so cliche it but does. it's like it takes a while to to kind of like come to grips with i guess and also allow yourself that time to just kind of like surrender to just not doing things because you think you have to or that yeah. kind of like fear or anxiety that you're not doing things right and stuff and it's a uh, easier said than done and also i would say yeah. learning I'm how that. I'm talking yeah. about learning yeah. that it's okay if you have a bad day because totally. i feel like those really used to like kill me and yeah. make me feel like oh my gosh like what am i doing this for if like i can't sure. get a song in a day or yeah, something totally. but there are days when you have a bad day and that's yeah. also okay it's totally fine <laughs> yeah because yeah. it will be met with a good day after <laughs> totally. that yeah totally <laughs> lately I've noticed like when friends or like myself are like telling the story it like there's an element where it seems like how did they do it or like it was like this magical thing that happened but I've like noticed like there's at least this common thread of just like find the one thing that you just like love doing so much that like it gets you up in the morning you want to like cancel plans to do you just like can't you're like it's like an obsession basically of it for me it was like 
I think making beats or like making tracks or like starting to like make demo there's like a point where you start doing something that you just can't stop doing because you just like you feel like you have to and then I feel like through there like you start also building up like your technical skills whether it be lyric writing or like how to use like a logic or pro tools or something and eventually you start to bridge the gap between like the technical and what's like coming out of your brain and then I feel like that can also translate to like meeting people and like this totally. but if you're just like in it for the right reasons and stuff and you just are gonna do this like either way like I just feel like putting like kind of those horse blinders on and just like not trying to obligatory like feel like you have to do anything other than just this one thing that you're just like obsessed with because in the beginning processes like you and I both can attest like you have to do it a lot yeah like and, yeah yeah that's what I was gonna say too is like it definitely was a journey of like just saying yes to like everything, everything. and being in sessions like Monday to Sunday two days a week two yeah. times a day I mean yeah and multiple weeks I feel row. like that process like really even though it was like really tiring it at times like it really helped me find the things that really work for me and that really inspire me and it was a very like organic way of meeting the people I love and totally. like finding my process mm -hmm. I guess totally yeah, yeah. so yeah I guess all that's left guys. to say is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Viva <laughs> <laughs>